The Republican National Convention had highs and a lot of lows in Cleveland this week. Even the candidate's acceptance speech was dark, full of dire predictions and accusations about his opponent. After 15 years of wars in the Middle East, after trillions of dollars spent and thousands of lives lost, the situation is worse than it has ever been before. This is the legacy of Hillary Clinton. Death, destruction, terrorism, and weakness. Even so, delegates roared back their approval of Trump throughout the entire week. But it was a convention of clear missteps, starting with Mrs. Trump's speech and this paragraph echoing Michelle Obama's speech in 2008. From a young age, my parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life, that your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise, that you treat people with respect. The campaign first denied plagiarism, then Mrs. Trump admitted copying the verbiage, followed by a campaign bond, staffer taking blame. Up next, former opponent Texas Senator Ted Cruz with a primetime speech notable for what it did not include, an endorsement of the candidate. Delegate response? Well, what I wanted to do last night was lay out the principles I believe we should stand for as Republicans. In that speech last night, I did not say a single negative word about Donald Trump. But he also did not endorse him. By the way, there was also a vice presidential nominee speech. I am deeply humbled by your confidence and on behalf of my family here and gone, I accept your nomination to run and serve as vice president of the United States of America. Anti-Trump delegates were apparent early on, but mostly drowned out. At no time was this week about anything other than Donald J. Trump, his family, campaign, and candidacy. And unlike other candidates, he appeared every night without fail, leaving little suspense in we the build-up to the final evening and his speech. The day I take the oath of office. Americans will finally wake up in a country where the laws of the United States are enforced. As much as the convention was about the Republican nominee for who should occupy the White House next, it was also about who and what was missing. Several national politicians refused to endorse Trump, and the governor of the state of Ohio, where the convention was held, refused to attend. Next week, Democrats get their chance to show whether they can do any better. Reporting for Bahrain TV, I'm Marty Johnson, Washington.